Ed Glover really pushed and it, it spurred our kids to do so much better when he talked about class and character. Not only how you act, but how you dress and how you carry yourself. Uh, my Eagle Pride started around freshman year. The school has a very rich history. We have produced educators. We have produced professional athletes. We have produced medical doctors. Everywhere you go, there is someone who can speak to the positive attitude of Willow Ridge High School. It's still unclear where Willow Ridge High students and teachers will be going in a couple of weeks, but the superintendent has now updated the black mold problem. Very little can be saved, including desks and items teachers left in their classrooms, but they have, however, managed to salvage the library, band uniforms and instruments, historical documents and student records. Willow Ridge will not be ready in time for the start of the new school year. An announcement on where everyone will go in the meantime is expected soon. The feeling I had was first denial, no way, not Willow Ridge, not this, and Fort Bend ISD. I was on vacation, so we decided, you know, uh, there's nothing I could do about it 3,000 miles away. You know, I told my, my AP, my very capable administrators who uh, were overseeing the issue while I was gone. I was heartbroken because I was just like, no, I want to be in my own school. It was like kind of like heartbroken because Willow Ridge is like a home to me. So basically like kind of like a getaway sometimes from home. When everything happened at Willow Ridge, we lost majority of our inventory. That was medical supplies, uh, instruments that we built for the kids that weren't district purchased. And it became very difficult in the beginning. I was in shock. We learned that the school was 85% covered in mold. Um, there are really no words to describe hearing that news for the first time. You know, our students don't get to do the year over. 2017-18 is one of their years in high school. And so uh, we looked at Marshall High School. You know, as a man of integrity, Mr. Holland, he just immediately spoke from his we heart. We would like to welcome the Willow Ridge community to our campus. The Marshall bus and Willow Ridge Eagles are demonstrating the true meaning of the phrase I have your back, and I am the brother's keeper. Oh. A community. There is rivalry, we understand, on the football field. And that's expected, though. But this is to be community, a sense of unity and love. We got hit automatic uh, a few months later with Hurricane uh, Harvey. You have to also understand that a lot of our teachers actually lost all of their items in the flood as well. So they lost all of their school items. Then they also lost all of their items at home, but they still came to school every day to teach our kids. And they still came with a smile on their face and they still came trying to help our kids. And I got strength from those individuals to see how they continue to work through that. We just reached out to other community groups. Uh, our pastors have been amazing. They've been uh, very helpful. We had so many uh, donations and outpouring of support from different churches, from different organizations, from different community leaders. Uh, we have jewels in this east side community that people don't really uh, actually have a, a good chance to see a lot. But sometimes it takes uh, adversity for individuals to see how we can come together as a community. Tens of thousands of dollars have been raised to support the Willow Ridge community that's been donated to them to help the teachers repurchase things they may have lost due to the mold and to help the, the students and the teachers get back on track quickly. So in Fort Bend ISD, we talk about being a collaborative community that has really been modeled through this experience. So many people have wrapped around Willow Ridge High School to help them move through this and to move forward in a very positive and productive way. Our staff has been incredibly flexible uh, and willing to help with anything that was needed back at the building, as well as being here day to day for the kids. They work here, 
and then they're anxious to get back to the building. Even if we need help moving items or cleaning, they were willing to do that. The teachers, because you know you got the really rich teacher, the Marshall teacher, and they both help. Like it's very interactive with each other that we get to, you know, have be positive with each other in the classroom. Things have gone very well. Um, you know, nothing is ever perfect, uh, but I, I do feel that it's gone really better than a lot of people uh, may have expected. But every day is a project here. Like every day, somebody's doing something somewhere. So you got to get together with your counterpart, sat down and got on a whiteboard and drew out where everybody's going to be. And everybody just did it. My daughter is a senior at Willow Ridge High School. And it was just a downer for her because she was not at home. What she calls home is Willow Ridge. Going to the school with your robbery school in the district, like one of the best teams in the state, and then just playing them and then seeing them the next day, just like, it's just hard. And I think what they needed was more of an assurance that everything was going to be okay. And I think we as the, the, the adults in the building, we set the tone. We set the tone of everything's going to be okay. We're going to survive through this semester then they follow our lead. It's been phenomenal to see that after all these months, about six months after first finding the mold in the building, we we're all cleaned up, the building's been restored, new furniture's on the way, fresh paint, beautiful new murals for our students, and we're gonna be ready to welcome staff and students in January after the winter break. Talk about having pride in your school. There's no way they can come to school and not have pride in this great learning environment. When we return, we will embrace our students with the same excitement and love that we normally do. Uh, we will have a moment, especially in the College Center, where we can celebrate the students who've been accepted. I want to make sure that everyone's name is on the wall so we all know who's been accepted and where they're going. Uh, we just want to make sure that each of our students are recognized and that they feel special during this moment. I really just want to have a lot of fun. Throw a lot of pep rallies, you know, have fun because we miss home. Like, we want to go home. It's been a long journey. A lot of people have put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to make this happen. My district has, has just poured immense amount of resources into our campus. When the students see the fresh paint in our school colors, when the staff sees that uh, their classrooms have been completely repainted and the floors are all tile in our school colors. I think that they will definitely have a sense of appreciation. I think it's going to be a celebration. If I could sing, I'd break out into a chorus of hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll feel like going home after a very yeah. long trip. It's been a very interesting experience that not a lot of people have an opportunity to partake in. And I've never been a part of something so pleasing to be, uh, to experience. It's truly been uh, difficult but beautiful at the same time.